If you are like me, you're excited for all the benefits that Copilot and other generative AI tools bring. But you can't help but ask questions like, is Copilot actually any good or does Microsoft just say it is? Can I even trust the output that Copilot gives me? Is it ethical to even use Copilot? You have every right to be asking these questions. After all, I have been using Copilot every day for about a year and Here's the harsh reality. Copilot is great at some things, but horrible at others. And I want you to know what not to use so that you can actually save time because I think I learned the hard way. Everything I am sharing is what I have learned from using Copilot and other generative AI tools every day for about a year. In this video, I'm gonna show you two things that I never do with Copilot because I think it's a waste of time, and two things that I use Copilot for every day because it saves me time. After all, in today's world, everyone's just wanting to save a little bit of time and get a little bit more work done. The first thing I never use Copilot for is writing my emails. What? I know, I know, this may be a hot take, but let me explain. Well, for starters, I don't have a Copilot Pro, a Copilot for M365, or a Copilot for Outlook license. But the reason I don't use Copilot to write my emails is not because I can't afford it. It's because without the context of how I normally speak, the content of an entire email thread, or the information on the person I'm speaking to, Copilot just doesn't write a very good email. So let me be clear because this issue is not necessarily a Copilot issue, but more of an information issue. Say I want to write an email to a customer that I've been working with. Without Copilot for Outlook, I need to tell Copilot who I am, who the person I'm speaking to is, what sort of relationship we have, why I'm writing them an email, the content of all of our previous emails so that I don't now repeat myself. Because Copilot doesn't have all of this context, I I find it easier just to write my emails by hand at this point in time. Well, kinda. No spoilers, but I do still use Copilot to help. It's just not how you think. Now, I will be the first to admit that I use the use Copilot to write your emails example a ton on this channel. I am not saying that you shouldn't use Copilot to write your emails or that you can't. I just think that without the licenses is generally a waste of time, which is the opposite of what we want, right? Okay, the second thing I never do with Copilot is, wait, this will make way more sense if I explain it in a story. Have you ever been using Copilot and you tell it not to do something? This could be don't include any hyperlinks in your output, or it could be don't talk about blank. The second thing I never do with Copilot is ask it not to do something. This brings up something that I've heard a little bit about and that people are beginning to mention. LLMs like Copilot and ChatGPT are generally bad at listening to do not statements. This is likely just a current flaw in the large language model training and over time should get better and better. But right now it's like telling a kid don't eat the candy when they didn't even know the candy was there in the first place. Now all they're thinking about is the last word that you said. This is kind of how LLMs like Copilot work. In my experience, it's just better to omit any do not dot 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 statements. And if you have found a better solution, please share it with me down in the comments down below. I would love to connect with you down there and see if I can learn anything from your Copilot experience. So at this point in time, I hope you don't think I hate Copilot because truly I don't. Like I said, I honestly use it every day. The first thing that I use Copilot for every day is to spice up my writing. What do you mean by that? I mean that naturally, I am not a very professional person. I may not always speak with the best grammar, the best sentence structure, or with the most politically correct vocabulary. In any job, and especially when you work remote like I do, I have found that word choice and communication skills are arguably the most important soft skill you can have. This is why I use Copilot to rewrite my sentences with a more professional tone. Remember earlier when I said I don't use Copilot to write my emails? I do use use it to rewrite my paragraphs within my emails. Here is how. I would recommend you use the following prompt. I want you to rewrite the following text to use more professional and to the point word choice, grammar, and sentence structure. Do not add or redact any content from the text. Your output needs to communicate the same message as the text communicates. Here is the text 
you are to rewrite. Then you can copy and paste your text directly following the prompt. Maybe instead you want your message to come across as professional but lighthearted. Maybe concise and to the point. Maybe casual and nonchalant. Take this prompt and use it to level up how you write at work. I use this all the time, especially if I'm writing up formal documents for the customer. The good thing is too, is if you're doing a longer piece, say a longer document, you can continue to come back to the same Copilot thread and have it rewrite your text over and over. This way it's using the context of the entire thread and all of your text that you have it rewrite will sound the same. I will say using generative AI in this way, in my opinion, is its biggest strength. It's like a huge real-time dictionary and thesaurus. And instead of having to think of words to better communicate my idea, I can just have Copilot do it instantly. Now, finally, the second thing that I use Copilot for each and every day is to summarize texts. This could be different articles or websites or blogs I find online. Now, stick with me because this is more nuanced than you might first think. You can use Copilot to summarize anything like your company's documents or very long PowerPoint decks or statements of work for a recent project. But like I said, I don't have Copilot for M365. But what I use is the Copilot that's actually embedded into Microsoft Edge. This is completely free, but is limited to using the Microsoft Edge browser or searching on Bing. Oh brother, this guy stinks! I know, I know, I don't use Edge outside of work very much either, but nonetheless, in the side pane, you can use Copilot to summarize a current web page that you're on. This will look at the content of the entire web page and provide you a summary. Say you are a complete beginner and don't understand the content. Tell Copilot to summarize it and explain it to a 10 year old. You could tell it to use metaphors related to sports so that you can better understand it. There are a bunch of different ways that you can manipulate these summaries. Where this really becomes powerful is say you need to learn a lot about an entire topic. In our example, we wanna learn how to be a professional pickleball player. Let's assume that we know nothing about the sport. We've never played and we've never seen it played. It would probably be wise to learn from more than just one pickleball source. We can go to a bunch of different articles on pickleball, ask Copilot to summarize each page, then we can combine all of these summaries and ask Copilot to summarize the summaries. This can provide a holistic view about the entire topic and be a summary of everything I need to know. Now, instead of reading through five different individual articles in minutes, I have a wealth of information in my Copilot summary so that I can begin playing. I truly think Copilot and other generative AI tools are a total game changer when it comes to productivity, both personally and professionally. And considering you're still here, I think you think so too. But even though you know how I use Copilot, it took me a year to learn how to actually use it correctly. At this point, I've only shared the what I use Copilot for, not the how I make Copilot effective. If you wanna know how I effectively use Copilot, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video here. Thank you to you for sticking to end the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.